One, the 1977 Chevrolet Malibu, currently listed on Craigslist for $1,500, is a classic American car that could be an exciting project for the right buyer. However, it's essential to approach this vehicle with a clear understanding of its current condition and the challenges that may come with restoring it. According to the seller's description, the car is in good condition, but this should be taken with a grain of salt. The fact that the seller suggests using the car for a demolition derby indicates that the vehicle may have significant wear and tear or damage. It's crucial for potential buyers to inspect the car thoroughly in person to assess its true condition and determine the extent of work required to restore it. One of the most significant drawbacks of this particular Malibu is its missing title. A missing title can make it difficult to register and insure the vehicle, and it raises questions about the car's history. Potential buyers should research the process and costs associated with obtaining a new title in their state before making a purchase. On the positive side, the Malibu is equipped with a 350 cubic inch V8 engine and an automatic transmission. These features could be appealing to classic car enthusiasts who appreciate the power and performance of vintage American vehicles. The seller also mentions that the car has an odometer reading of 77,000 miles, which is relatively low for a car of this age. However, without a thorough inspection, it's difficult to verify the accuracy of this reading. If you're considering purchasing this Chevrolet, it's important to have a realistic understanding of the time, effort, and financial investment required to restore the car. The initial purchase price of $1,500 may seem attractive, but the costs associated with repairs, replacements, and potential upgrades can quickly add up. Before making a decision, it's advisable to research the availability and prices of replacement parts for this specific model. You should also consider your own mechanical skills and whether you have the tools and space necessary to work on the car. If you plan to hire professionals for the restoration work, factor in these additional costs. In summary, the Malibu listed on Craigslist for $1,500 presents an opportunity for a classic car restoration project. However, potential buyers should carefully weigh the challenges associated with the car's current condition and missing title. Conducting thorough research and inspecting the vehicle in person are essential steps before committing to this project. With the right approach and resources, this Malibu could be transformed into a stunning example of classic American automotive engineering. Two, when it comes to classic American luxury cars, few models can match the prestige and elegance of the 1984 Cadillac Eldorado. This particular example, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, presents a rare opportunity to own a piece of automotive history in excellent condition. The Eldorado, a name that has been synonymous with luxury since its introduction in 1953, underwent a significant redesign in 1979 adopting a more compact and efficient body style while still retaining its trademark opulence. The 1984 model year saw minor updates to the Eldorado's exterior and interior, refining its already impressive appearance. Under the hood, the Eldorado is powered by a robust eight-cylinder engine, which provides ample power for effortless cruising and smooth acceleration. The engine is mated to a reliable automatic transmission, ensuring a seamless and comfortable driving experience. With its rear-wheel drive layout, the Eldorado delivers a classic American luxury car feel, offering a perfect balance of comfort and performance. The car's odometer reading of 84,000 miles is relatively low for its age, indicating that it has been cherished and well-maintained by its previous owners. The seller mentions that they acquired the car from the original owner's estate, suggesting that it has been in the care of a single family for most of its life. This level of ownership continuity is highly desirable among collectors as it often translates to a vehicle that has been consistently serviced and kept in excellent condition. Moreover, the seller states that the Eldorado comes with all the paperwork from new, providing a complete and transparent record of its history. This documentation not only adds to the car's provenance, but also offers peace of mind to potential buyers as it allows them to verify the vehicle's authenticity and maintenance history. The Eldorado's stunning red paint color is a classic choice that perfectly complements its elegant lines and curves. The vibrant hue is sure to attract attention and admiration wherever the car goes, whether it's at a classic car show or simply cruising down the highway. 
the clean title status of the vehicle further attest to its excellent condition, indicating that it has not been involved in any major accidents or suffered from significant damage. It's worth noting that the seller is firm on the asking price of $10,000 and is not interested in entertaining any trade offers. This stance suggests that they are confident in the value and quality of the Eldorado and are looking for a serious buyer who appreciates the car's significance and potential. While the asking price may seem high for a 40-year-old car, it's essential to consider the Eldorado's rarity, condition, and historical significance. As a well-preserved example of a classic American luxury car, this 1984 Cadillac Eldorado is likely to appreciate in value over time, making it a potentially smart investment for collectors and enthusiasts alike. Of course, as with any used car purchase, it is always advisable to personally inspect the vehicle and verify its condition before making a final decision. A thorough examination by a qualified mechanic can help uncover any potential issues or concerns that may not be apparent from the seller's description alone. In conclusion, this Eldorado represents a unique opportunity to own a piece of American automotive history in excellent condition. With its powerful eight-cylinder engine, smooth automatic transmission, and luxurious red exterior, this classic coupe is sure to turn heads and provide its new owner with an unforgettable driving experience. If you're in the market for a well-preserved and cherished classic car, this Eldorado is definitely worth considering. 3. The 1984 Buick Riviera, a rare and collectible classic car, is currently available for sale on Craigslist at a reduced price of $8,000. This particular Riviera is a unique find, as it is equipped with a diesel engine, making it an even more sought-after variant among collectors and enthusiasts. According to the seller's description, this Riviera is in excellent condition, a testament to its careful maintenance and preservation over the years. The car boasts a sleek exterior with a straight body and shiny paint, although the seller notes that the paint is not perfect. The interior is described as immaculate, indicating that it has been well kept and free from significant wear and tear. Under the hood, the Riviera is powered by an Oldsmobile 350 diesel engine, specifically the DX block, which is known for its reliability and smooth operation compared to the earlier 1978 version. The engine runs quietly and efficiently, providing excellent fuel mileage. The car is equipped with an automatic transmission with overdrive, ensuring a comfortable and effortless driving experience. This Riviera comes loaded with a range of features that were considered luxurious for its time, including power windows, locks, mirrors, and a power driver's seat. The factory power Astro roof adds to the car's elegance and provides an open-air driving experience. The tilt and telescoping steering wheel, along with the cold air conditioning and AM-FM stereo, further enhance the comfort and convenience of the interior. One of the standout features of this Riviera is its self-leveling air ride suspension, a predecessor to the Dynaride system. This advanced suspension system ensures a smooth and comfortable ride, making the car feel like it's gliding on the road. The seller has invested in several new parts to keep the Riviera in top condition including belts, hoses, thermostat, AC compressor, fuel tank, and power seat components. These updates demonstrate the owner's commitment to maintaining the car's mechanical integrity and reliability. While the Riviera is in excellent overall condition, the seller does mention a few minor flaws. The centerpiece from the rear right wheel cover is missing, the plastic dash edge trim needs to be re-glued, and the power antenna requires replacement. However, these issues are relatively minor and do not detract significantly from the car's overall appeal. The seller even includes new hood struts and the original 1984 Summer Olympics tag with the sale, adding to the Riviera's historical value and provenance. The seller's motivation for parting with this cherished classic is to make more room in their garage, suggesting that the car has been a beloved possession. The reduced asking price of $8,000 presents an attractive opportunity for collectors or enthusiasts looking to acquire a rare and well-maintained 1984 Buick Riviera diesel. As with any used car purchase, it is advisable to personally inspect the vehicle and verify its condition before making a final decision. However, based on the seller's detailed description 
and the car's excellent overall condition, this Buick Riviera diesel appears to be a compelling choice for those seeking a unique and well-preserved classic car with a touch of luxury and reliability. 4. The 1949 Ford listed for sale on Craigslist is a classic car that has undergone significant modifications. While the original vehicle is a 1949 Ford, the seller has made substantial changes to the drivetrain, replacing the original engine and transmission with components from a Chevrolet. Under the hood, you'll find a 327-350 small block Chevy engine, which is a popular choice among hot rod and custom car enthusiasts. This engine is known for its reliability, performance potential, and wide availability of aftermarket parts. Paired with the engine is a turbo 350 automatic transmission, a durable and versatile gearbox commonly used in Chevrolet applications. The addition of a tilt column suggests that the interior has also been modified to accommodate this updated drivetrain. The seller states that the car is in fair condition and needs work, indicating that it may require some repairs, restoration, or finishing touches. This is not uncommon for classic cars that have undergone significant modifications, as the process of customization often involves a certain amount of fabrication and adaptation. The odometer reading of 100,000 miles is likely referring to the mileage on the original Ford before the modifications were made. It's important to note that the actual mileage on the current drivetrain components may differ from this reading. The green paint color mentioned in the listing suggests that the car has been repainted at some point, either to refresh its appearance or as part of the customization process. The clean title status is a positive sign, indicating that the car has a clear ownership history and is not encumbered by any legal or financial issues. When considering the purchase of a modified classic car like this Ford, it's essential to thoroughly inspect the vehicle in person and assess the quality of the workmanship. It may be helpful to bring along a knowledgeable mechanic or experienced hot rod builder to evaluate the condition of the drivetrain components, the integrity of the chassis and suspension, and the overall state of the car. Given the modifications and the work that still needs to be done, the asking price of $6,000 seems reasonable for a project car of this nature. However, potential buyers should keep in mind that additional investments may be necessary to complete the build or address any remaining issues. In summary, this modified Ford presents an intriguing opportunity for someone looking for a classic car project with a Chevrolet drivetrain. While the car is in fair condition and needs work, it has the potential to become a unique and powerful hot rod. As with any project car, it's crucial to thoroughly inspect the vehicle, assess the scope of the remaining work, and factor in the cost of any necessary repairs or upgrades before making a purchase decision. Five. The 1984 Dodge D 150 Royale SE pickup truck, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, appears to be a well-preserved and original survivor. With an asking price of $7,900, this truck presents an excellent opportunity for collectors or enthusiasts seeking a clean, vintage workhorse. Under the hood, the D 150 is powered by a reliable 318 V8 engine, known for its durability and smooth operation. Paired with an automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive, this truck offers a classic driving experience reminiscent of the era. The seller emphasizes the truck's very clean interior, with door panels and dash in excellent condition. The fact that even the original radio is still functional is a testament to the vehicle's overall well-preserved state. The inclusion of creature comforts such as cruise control air conditioning and power windows adds to the truck's appeal and usability. One of the most striking aspects of this D150 is its remarkably low mileage. With only 14,165 miles on the odometer, this truck has been sparingly used over its 39-year lifespan. Such low mileage is a rarity among vintage vehicles and significantly adds to its value and desirability. The exterior of the truck is enhanced by the presence of a topper, which not only protects the bed, but also gives the vehicle a more streamlined appearance. The seller mentions that new tires were installed this past summer, ensuring that the truck is ready for the road. The glass all around is reported to be in good condition, further indicating the truck's overall solid state. The seller's description suggests that this Dodge D150 Royale SE is a highly original survivor, which is a significant selling point for collectors who value authenticity. 
The fact that the truck comes with a clean Colorado title in the seller's name provides peace of mind for potential buyers, as it indicates a clear ownership history. It's important to note that the seller prefers to be contacted by phone for more information on the truck and does not wish to engage in text or email conversations. This preference for direct communication allows prospective buyers to ask detailed questions and gather more insights about the vehicle's history and condition. While the asking price of $7,900 may seem high for a 39-year-old pickup truck, the exceptional condition, low mileage, and original survivor status of this 1984 Dodge D150 Royale SE justify its value. For collectors or enthusiasts in search of a well-preserved vintage truck with a clean title and a range of desirable features, this listing is definitely worth exploring further. As with any used vehicle purchase, it is always recommended to personally inspect the truck and, if possible, have a qualified mechanic assess its condition before making a final decision. However, based on the seller's description and the truck's impressive attributes, this D150 presents a compelling opportunity for those in the market for a classic, reliable, and well-maintained pickup truck. 6. This unique 1963 Chevrolet Terre Convertible, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is an intriguing blend of American and German automotive engineering. The seller has taken the unconventional step of replacing the Corvair's original engine with a Volkswagen motor and transmission, creating a distinctive and eye-catching vehicle. The Corvair, originally designed as a compact car with a rear-mounted air-cooled engine, shares some similarities with the classic Volkswagen Beetle. The decision to swap in a Volkswagen drivetrain is an interesting choice that may appeal to enthusiasts of both American and European classic cars. According to the seller, the car is in good condition, suggesting that it has been well-maintained and cared for over the years. The odometer reading of 96,000 miles indicates that the car has been enjoyed, but not excessively driven. The exterior of the Corvair is enhanced by its white paint color, which gives it a clean and classic appearance. The seller mentions that the car features rally wheels, adding a sporty touch to its overall look. The convertible top is said to be new, ensuring that the car can be enjoyed in both sunny and inclement weather. Inside, the Corvair is equipped with a radio, providing entertainment for those long drives. The seller describes the interior as very clean, implying that it has been well kept and free from significant wear and tear. Mechanically, the seller states that the car runs and drives very well, which is a testament to the quality of the Volkswagen drivetrain and the care that has been put into maintaining the vehicle. The nearly new tires provide peace of mind, ensuring that the car is ready for the road. The clean title status is another positive aspect of this listing, indicating that the car has a clear ownership history and is not burdened by any legal or financial issues. When considering the purchase of a modified classic car like this, 1963 Chevy Corvair with a Volkswagen drivetrain, it's important to keep in mind that parts and service may differ from those of a standard Corvair. Potential buyers should familiarize themselves with the specific components used in the modification and ensure that they are comfortable with the maintenance and repair requirements of this unique vehicle. The asking price of $10,000 may seem steep for a modified Corvair, but the good condition, new top, rally wheels, and the novelty of the Volkswagen drivetrain could justify the price for the right buyer. As with any used car purchase, it's essential to personally inspect the vehicle and, if possible, have a trusted mechanic assess its condition before making a final decision. In summary, this Corvair convertible with a Volkswagen motor and transmission is a fascinating blend of American and German automotive ingenuity. Its good condition, clean title, and unique features make it an appealing choice for collectors and enthusiasts who appreciate unconventional classic cars. While the asking price may be on the higher end, the car's rarity and the work put into the modification could make it a worthwhile investment for the right buyer. 7. The 1978 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am listed for sale on Craigslist is a classic muscle car that has seen better days but still holds a lot of potential for the right buyer. With an asking price of $5,500, this Firebird could be an excellent opportunity for someone looking to take on a restoration project and bring this iconic vehicle back to its former glory. According to the seller, the car is currently not in driving condition, which means that it will require some work to get it back on the road. 
However, the seller suggests that it would be a great candidate for restoration, implying that the car is relatively complete and has a solid foundation to build upon. Under the hood, you'll find a 400 cubic inch V8 engine, which was a popular choice for the Trans Am in 1978. This powerful engine is mated to a four-speed manual transmission, making it an attractive option for enthusiasts who enjoy the engagement and control of a manual gearbox. The car's rear-wheel drive layout is another classic feature that contributes to its appeal as a true muscle car. The exterior of the Firebird is finished in a striking red paint color, which is a quintessential choice for a Trans Am. However, given the car's fair condition, it's likely that the paint may need some attention or even a complete respray to restore its shine and luster. The odometer reading of 51,921 miles suggests that the car has been driven relatively sparingly over its 45-year lifespan. While this mileage is encouraging, it's essential to keep in mind that the car's mechanical condition may not necessarily reflect the low mileage, especially considering its non-operational status. The seller mentions that the car has a clean title, which is a positive sign, as it indicates that the vehicle is not encumbered by any legal or financial issues that could complicate the transfer of ownership. When considering the purchase of a non-running classic car like this 1978 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, it's crucial to thoroughly inspect the vehicle in person and assess the extent of the work required to bring it back to roadworthy condition. Potential buyers should also factor in the cost of any necessary repairs, replacements, or upgrades when determining if the asking price is fair. It may be helpful to bring along a knowledgeable mechanic or classic car enthusiast to evaluate the car's overall condition, including its structural integrity, the state of its mechanical components, and the availability of replacement parts. In summary, this Firebird Trans Am presents an intriguing opportunity for a classic car enthusiast or a skilled mechanic looking for a restoration project. While the car is not currently in driving condition, and its fair condition suggests that it will require some work, the iconic status of the Trans Am, its desirable 404-speed combination, and its clean title status make it an attractive prospect for the right buyer. The asking price of $5,500 seems reasonable for a project car of this caliber, but potential buyers should carefully consider the costs and challenges associated with restoring this classic muscle car before making a purchase decision. 8. The 1975 Plymouth Duster, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a classic coupe that has gained pop culture fame as the beloved car of Al Bundy from the popular TV show Married with Children. With an asking price of $7,950, this duster presents an opportunity for fans of the show or classic car enthusiasts to own a piece of television history. According to the seller, the car is in good condition, suggesting that it has been well-maintained and cared for over the years. The exterior and interior are described as all original, which is a testament to the car's authenticity and its ability to transport you back to the 1970s. Under the hood, you'll find a 255 cubic inch six-cylinder engine, which provides a balance of power and efficiency. The automatic transmission makes the car easy to drive and well-suited for daily use or leisurely cruises. The odometer reading of 59,000 miles is relatively low for a car of this age, indicating that it has been driven sparingly over the past 48 years. This low mileage is a positive sign as it suggests that the car may have experienced less wear and tear compared to higher mileage examples. The car's brown paint color is a classic choice for the era and adds to its vintage charm. The clean title status is another encouraging aspect, as it indicates that the car is free from any legal or financial encumbrances that could complicate the transfer of ownership. One notable aspect of the listing is the seller's emphasis on the car's connection to the character Al Bundy and the TV show Married with Children. While the show used a Plymouth Duster as Al's car, it's important to note that this particular vehicle may not have been used in the actual production of the show. However, its similarity to Al's beloved Duster makes it an attractive option for fans looking to own a piece of television memorabilia. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this 1975 Plymouth Duster, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition. While the seller describes the car as being in good condition, it's always wise to check for any signs of rust. 
mechanical issues or other potential problems that may require attention. It may also be helpful to research the availability and cost of replacement parts for the duster, as well as any common issues or maintenance requirements specific to this model. The asking price of $7,950 seems reasonable for a well-maintained, low-mileage classic car with a pop culture connection. However, as with any used car purchase, it's important to ensure that the vehicle's condition and value align with the seller's asking price. In summary, this Plymouth presents an exciting opportunity for fans of married with children or classic car enthusiasts looking to own a piece of television history. The car's good condition, low mileage, original exterior and interior, and clean title status make it an attractive option for collectors. While the asking price of $7,950 may be justified by its connection to Al Bundy and its overall condition, potential buyers should still thoroughly inspect the vehicle and consider the costs of ownership before making a final decision. 9. The 1977 Chevrolet Silverado, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a classic long bed, standard cab pickup truck with an asking price of $10,000. The seller describes the truck as a beautiful lowered vehicle suggesting that it has been modified to achieve a more aggressive and stylish stance. According to the seller, the truck is in good condition overall, which is encouraging for a vehicle that's over 45 years old. However, it's important to note that the seller mentions some quirks and issues that potential buyers should be aware of. The odometer reading is stated as 36,000 miles, but the seller clarifies that the truck has a five-digit odometer which has likely rolled over, this means that the actual mileage of the truck is probably higher than what is displayed. Potential buyers should inquire about the truck's true mileage and consider the potential impact of higher mileage on the vehicle's condition and value. Mechanically, the seller mentions that the truck runs but usually requires a hard start. This could indicate an issue with the fuel system, ignition, or other related components. It's essential for potential buyers to investigate this issue further and factor in the potential cost of repairs or upgrades. On a positive note, the seller has invested in some improvements, such as new hinges and latches for the passenger door, which suggests that they have taken steps to address some of the truck's needs. Additionally, the seller mentions that they have a new radio that has not been installed yet, which could be a bonus for the new owner. The clean title status is another positive aspect of this listing, as it indicates that the truck is free from any legal or financial encumbrances that could complicate the transfer of ownership. When considering the purchase of a classic truck like this Chevrolet, it's crucial to thoroughly inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition. Given the truck's age and the mentioned quirks, it's likely that there may be additional issues or areas that require attention. Potential buyers should also consider the cost and availability of replacement parts for this specific model. The seller's asking price of $10,000 may seem high for a truck with some issues, but the classic status of the Silverado, its lowered stance, and its overall good condition could justify the price for the right buyer. However, it's essential to ensure that the truck's condition and potential repair costs align with the asking price. It's worth noting that the seller has stated they will not provide vehicle history reports, so potential buyers should be prepared to rely on their own inspection and assessment of the truck's condition. In summary, this Silverado presents an opportunity for classic truck enthusiasts or those looking for a unique lowered vehicle. While the truck is described as being in good condition, potential buyers should be aware of the mentioned quirks, the unknown true mileage, and the potential for additional issues common in older vehicles. The asking price of $10,000 may be justified by the truck's classic status and modifications, but buyers should carefully consider the costs of ownership and any necessary repairs before making a final decision. 10. The 1959 Ford Fairlane 500 Galaxy, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a stunning classic sedan that combines style, nostalgia, and a touch of Americana. With an asking price of $9,800, this hardtop, four-door beauty is sure to turn heads and capture the hearts of classic car enthusiasts. According to the seller, the car is in excellent condition, which is truly remarkable for a vehicle that's over 60 years old. This suggests that the Fairlane has been meticulously maintained, preserved, and possibly restored to a high standard. The excellent condition of the car 
is a testament to the care and attention it has received throughout its life. The exterior of the Fairlane is finished in a classic combination of white and red, which was a popular color scheme during the late 1950s. The two-tone paint job accentuates the car's iconic lines and chrome accents, making it a true standout on the road. The hardtop design with its pillarless window openings adds to the car's sleek and stylish appearance. Under the hood, you'll find a six-cylinder engine, which was a common choice for the Fairlane 500 in 1959. This engine provides a smooth and reliable driving experience, and its relative simplicity compared to modern engines makes it easier to maintain and service. The car's rear-wheel drive layout is another classic feature that contributes to its vintage charm and driving dynamics. The odometer reading of 81,400 miles is relatively low for a car of this age, suggesting that it has been driven sparingly over the past six decades. This low mileage is a positive sign, as it indicates that the car may have experienced less wear and tear compared to higher mileage examples. The clean title status is another encouraging aspect of this listing, as it suggests that the car is free from any legal or financial encumbrances that could complicate the transfer of ownership. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this 1959 Ford Fairlane 500 Galaxy, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and verify its condition. While the seller describes the car as being in excellent condition, it's always wise to check for any signs of rust, mechanical issues, or other potential problems that may require attention. A thorough inspection by a qualified classic car mechanic can provide valuable insights into the car's overall health and any necessary repairs or maintenance. It's also important to research the availability and cost of replacement parts for the Fairlane 500, as well as any common issues or maintenance requirements specific to this model. The asking price of $9,800 seems reasonable for a well-maintained, low-mileage classic car in excellent condition. However, as with any used car purchase, it's important to ensure that the vehicle's condition and value align with the seller's asking price. In summary, this Fairlane 500 Galaxy presents a rare opportunity to own a stunning piece of American automotive history. The car's excellent condition, low mileage, classic white and red color scheme, and clean title status make it an attractive option for collectors and enthusiasts alike. While the asking price of $9,800 may be justified by its condition and rarity, potential buyers should still thoroughly inspect the vehicle and consider the costs of ownership before making a final decision. For the right buyer, this Fairlane 500 could be a dream come true and a treasured addition to any classic car collection. 11. The 1979 Chevrolet Scottsdale, also known as the Silverado, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a highly sought-after classic truck that combines rugged charm with everyday practicality. With an asking price of $9,800, this two-owner square-body Chevy presents a compelling opportunity for enthusiasts and collectors alike. According to the seller, the truck is in good condition, which is impressive considering its age of over 40 years. The 142,000 original kilometers, approximately 88,200 miles on the odometer, suggests that the truck has been well-maintained and driven responsibly throughout its life. The fact that it has had only two owners further adds to its desirability, as it implies a level of care and consistency in its maintenance history. Under the hood, you'll find a numbers matching 350 cubic inch V8 engine, which is a testament to the truck's originality and authenticity. This powerful and reliable engine is mated to a turbo 350 automatic transmission, providing a smooth and effortless driving experience. The truck's rear-wheel drive layout is a classic feature that contributes to its robust and capable nature. One notable aspect of this Scottsdale is that it is a rare big 10 inches model, which was a heavy half-ton variant. This designation suggests that the truck has a higher payload capacity and a more robust suspension compared to standard half-ton models, making it an ideal choice for those who require a truck that can handle demanding tasks. The seller mentions that the truck has recently received new tires, a new exhaust system, and a new muffler, indicating that they have invested in maintaining and upgrading key components. The rally rims add a touch of sportiness to the truck's appearance, while the two-tone patina paint job gives it a unique and character-rich look that is highly prized among classic truck enthusiasts. 
The seller emphasizes that the truck runs and drives excellently on a daily basis, which is a crucial factor for those who plan to use it as a regular driver. The clean title status is another positive aspect as it suggests that the truck is free from any legal or financial encumbrances that could complicate the transfer of ownership. When considering the purchase of a classic truck like this Chevrolet, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition. While the seller describes the truck as being in good shape, it's always wise to check for any signs of rust, mechanical issues, or other potential problems that may require attention. A thorough inspection by a qualified mechanic can provide valuable insights into the truck's health and any necessary repairs or maintenance. The asking price of $9,800 seems reasonable for a well-maintained, numbers-matching, rare Big Ten model Scottsdale with a clean title and a strong running condition. However, as with any used vehicle purchase, it's important to ensure that the truck's condition and value align with the seller's asking price. In summary, this Scottsdale presents a fantastic opportunity for classic truck enthusiasts or those in search of a reliable and characterful daily driver. The truck's good condition, low mileage, numbers matching engine, rare Big Ten designation, and recent upgrades make it an attractive option for collectors and casual buyers alike. While the asking price of $9,800 may be justified by its condition and rarity, potential buyers should still thoroughly inspect the vehicle and consider the costs of ownership before making a final decision. For the right buyer, this Scottsdale could be a dream come true and a cherished addition to any classic truck collection. 12. The 1970 Chevrolet Nova currently listed for sale on Craigslist is a classic muscle car that has been modified for improved performance. With an asking price of $6,500, this Nova presents an interesting opportunity for enthusiasts looking for a project car or a classic ride with some extra power under the hood. According to the seller, the car is in good condition overall, but it's important to note that they have disclosed some rust issues in the trunk floor, lower quarter panels, and around the back window. While the seller mentions having some of the parts needed to address these issues, Potential buyers should carefully assess the extent of the rust and factor in the cost and effort required to repair it properly. Under the hood, the Nova features a built 283 cubic inch V8 engine, which has likely been modified for increased performance. The engine is paired with a TH350 automatic transmission that has been upgraded with a shift kit and a stall converter, enhancing the car's acceleration and overall driving experience. The rear axle is a 10-bolt unit with 3.90 gears and a new positive traction differential, providing excellent traction and power delivery. Other notable upgrades include a 2.5 inches exhaust system with headers, power steering, and a new wiring harness. The seller mentions that the car currently has manual drum brakes, which may require an upgrade to ensure optimal stopping power, especially considering the performance modifications. The seller notes that the car runs and drives well, but due to the steep rear-end gearing, it may not be suitable for extended freeway driving. This suggests that the Nova is best suited for local cruising, car shows, or occasional spirited drives on back roads. One interesting aspect of this Nova is that it was originally equipped with a manual transmission. The seller states that the car could be relatively easily converted back to a manual, which may appeal to buyers who prefer a more engaging driving experience. The clean California title in the seller's name and the car's current registration status are positive factors, as they suggest a straightforward transfer of ownership. The seller's willingness to potentially assist with delivery for buyers outside the Sacramento area is another nice touch. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this Chevrolet, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition paying special attention to the disclosed rust issues. A thorough inspection by a qualified classic car mechanic can provide valuable insights into the car's health, the quality of the modifications, and any necessary repairs or upgrades. The asking price of $6,500 seems reasonable for a modified Nova with a clean title, considering the performance upgrades and the seller's transparency about the rust issues. However, Potential buyers should factor in the cost of addressing the rust and any other desired upgrades when determining if the price aligns with the car's condition and their own budget. In summary, this Nova offers a compelling blend of classic muscle car style and modified performance.
While the disclosed rust issues may require attention, the car's built 283 engine, upgraded transmission, and other enhancements make it an attractive option for enthusiasts seeking a powerful and unique classic ride. The asking price of $6,500 may be justified, but buyers should carefully consider the costs of rust repair and any additional desired modifications before making a final decision. For the right buyer, this Nova could be an exciting project car or a thrilling weekend cruiser. 13. The 1962 Plymouth Valiant, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a classic compact car that has stood the test of time. With an asking price of $9,000, this Valiant appears to be a well-preserved example of Chrysler's popular and reliable model from the 1960s. According to the seller's brief description, the car is in great condition, which is a promising sign for a vehicle that's over 60 years old. While more details about the car's specific condition would be helpful, the seller's confidence in describing it as great suggests that it has been well-maintained and cared for over the years. Under the hood, you'll find the renowned Slant 6 engine, which is known for its durability, efficiency, and smooth operation. This inline six engine was a popular choice for the Valiant and many other Chrysler models during the 1960s and beyond. The Slant 6's reputation for reliability and longevity is a significant selling point for this classic car. The seller mentions that the car has an automatic transmission, which was a common option for the Valiant in 1962. The automatic transmission makes the car more accessible and easier to drive for a wider range of buyers, including those who may not be comfortable with a manual gearbox. Unfortunately, the seller does not provide information about the car's mileage or specific interior and exterior conditions. The lack of photos in the listing also makes it challenging to assess the car's overall appearance and any potential issues or modifications. The clean title status mentioned in the ad is a positive sign as it suggests that the car is free from any legal or financial encumbrances that could complicate the transfer of ownership. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this Plymouth, it's crucial to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition. Given the limited information provided in the listing, potential buyers should be prepared to ask the seller detailed questions about the car's history, maintenance records, and any known issues or repairs. It's also essential to research the availability and cost of replacement parts for the Valiant, as well as any common problems or maintenance requirements specific to this model and year. The asking price of $9,000 may seem relatively high for a compact car from the 1960s, but the seller's confidence in the car's great condition and the desirability of a well-maintained slant six-powered Valiant could justify the price for the right buyer. However, without more detailed information and photos, it's difficult to determine if the price aligns with the car's actual condition and market value. The sellers note that they will only respond to serious inquiries via phone calls suggests that they are looking for a committed buyer who is genuinely interested in the car. This may be an opportunity for serious buyers to gather more information and negotiate the price based on the car's actual condition and their own budget. In summary, this Valiant has the potential to be a great classic car for the right buyer, but the limited information provided in the listing makes it difficult to fully assess its condition and value. The Slant 6 engine and the seller's confidence in the car's great condition are promising signs, but potential buyers should be prepared to thoroughly inspect the vehicle and ask detailed questions before making a final decision. The asking price of $9,000 may be justified for a well-maintained and original Valiant, but buyers should carefully consider the car's actual condition and market value before proceeding with the purchase. 14. The 1940 Cadillac LaSalle 52 Series Touring Sedan, currently listed for sale on Craigslist at a reduced price of $10,000, is a stunning example of pre-war American luxury automobiles. This classic car presents a rare opportunity for collectors and enthusiasts to own a piece of automotive history that is not only visually impressive, but also mechanically sound. According to the seller's description, the car is in good condition, which is remarkable for a vehicle that is over 80 years old. The fact that it is a running, driving, and registered car suggests that it has been well-maintained and cared for throughout its life. Under the hood, you'll find a 322 cubic inch L-head V8 engine, which is paired with a column-shifted three-speed manual transmission. 
This powerful and smooth running engine is a testament to the engineering prowess of Cadillac during the pre-war era. The manual transmission adds to the car's vintage charm and provides a more engaging driving experience for those who enjoy the art of shifting gears. The interior of the LaSalle features a three-spoke steering wheel with a chrome horn ring, which adds a touch of elegance to the driver's compartment. The steering wheel frames an impressive 100 mph sweep speedometer and gauges for water temperature, amperage, fuel level, and oil pressure, giving the driver a comprehensive view of the car's vital signs. The seller mentions that they have driven the car 30 miles to work and back twice since owning it, indicating that it is capable of being used as a regular driver. The car has been garage stored and is started and driven around the block once a month, which is an excellent practice for maintaining the health of a classic vehicle. The battery has been connected to a battery tender, ensuring that it is always ready to start when needed. While the seller states that the car is presentable and can be driven as is, they also acknowledge that there are some little things that would need to be addressed to make it a reliable daily driver. This transparency is appreciated as it allows potential buyers to have a realistic understanding of the car's condition and the work that may be required to bring it to their desired level of perfection. The odometer reading of 60,000 miles is mentioned, but the seller also notes that the odometer has rolled over, indicating that the actual mileage is likely higher. This is not uncommon for classic cars of this age, and potential buyers should consider this when evaluating the vehicle's condition and value. The clean title status is a positive sign, as it suggests that the car is free from any legal or financial encumbrances that could complicate the transfer of ownership. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this, 1940 Cadillac LaSalle, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition. A thorough inspection by a qualified classic car mechanic can provide valuable insights into the car's health, any potential issues, and the extent of the work needed to make it a reliable daily driver or a show quality specimen. The reduced asking price of $10,000 seems reasonable for a running and driving pre-war Cadillac in good condition. However, potential buyers should factor in the cost of any necessary repairs or upgrades when determining if the price aligns with their budget and the car's actual value. In summary, this LaSalle is a remarkable find for classic car enthusiasts and collectors. Its good condition, running and driving status, and attractive features make it a compelling choice for those seeking a pre-war luxury automobile. The reduced asking price of $10,000 may be justified, but buyers should carefully consider the car's actual condition and any necessary repairs before making a final decision. For the right buyer, this LaSalle could be a dream come true and a treasured addition to any classic car collection. 15. The 1972 Lincoln Continental Mark IV, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a rare and impressive luxury car that has stood the test of time. With an asking price of $7,000, this low-mileage, triple-white survivor presents an excellent opportunity for collectors and enthusiasts of classic American automobiles. According to the seller's description, the car is in good condition, which is remarkable for a vehicle that is nearly 50 years old. The fact that it is described as a survivor suggests that it has been well-preserved and has retained many of its original features and components. One of the most striking aspects of this Mark IV is its low mileage. With only 60,000 miles on the odometer, this car has been sparingly driven throughout its life, which is a testament to its careful ownership and preservation. Low mileage classic cars are highly sought after by collectors, as they often represent the best preserved examples of a particular model. The triple white color combination, which likely refers to a white exterior, white interior, and white vinyl roof, is a classic and elegant choice that perfectly complements the Mark IV's stately design. The white exterior showcases the car's clean lines and chrome accents, while the white interior provides a luxurious and inviting atmosphere for passengers. The seller mentions that the car ran great last summer, indicating that it has been recently operational and well-maintained. However, it's important to note that the seller's health is forcing the sale, which may suggest that the car has been sitting idle for some time. Potential buyers should inquire about the car's current mechanical condition and any maintenance or repairs that may be necessary to ensure its roadworthiness. The clean title status is a positive sign as it suggests that the car is free from any legal or financial encumbrances 
that could complicate the transfer of ownership. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this Lincoln, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition. A thorough inspection by a qualified classic car mechanic can provide valuable insights into the car's health, any potential issues, and the extent of any necessary repairs or maintenance. Given the seller's health situation, it's crucial to gather as much information as possible about the car's recent history and current condition. The asking price of $7,000 seems reasonable for a low-mileage, well-preserved Mark IV in good condition. However, potential buyers should factor in the cost of any necessary repairs or maintenance when determining if the price aligns with their budget and the car's actual value. In summary, this Mark IV is an attractive offering for classic car enthusiasts and collectors. Its low mileage, triple white color combination, and good overall condition make it a desirable example of American luxury from the early 1970s. The asking price of $7,000 may be justified, but buyers should carefully consider the car's current mechanical condition and any necessary repairs before making a final decision. For the right buyer, this Mark IV could be a stunning addition to any collection or a memorable weekend cruiser. 16. The 1985 Ford Crown Victoria LTD, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a classic American sedan that has undergone some significant mechanical upgrades. With an asking price of $10,000, this Crown Victoria presents an interesting opportunity for enthusiasts of full-size rear-wheel drive American cars from the 1980s. According to the seller's description, the car is in good condition overall, which is a positive sign for a vehicle that is nearly 40 years old. The seller mentions that the car has a clean title and a pink slip in hand, indicating a clear ownership history and readiness for transfer to a new owner. The odometer reading of roughly 145,000 miles suggests that the car has been moderately driven over its lifetime. While this mileage is not exceptionally low, it is not uncommon for well-maintained cars of this era to still have plenty of life left in them. Under the hood, the original 5.0-liter V8 engine has been recently rebuilt and bored over by 40, meaning that it now has larger pistons. This modification likely increases the engine's displacement and power output, making it an attractive feature for those seeking improved performance. The original transmission has also been recently rebuilt and upgraded with a Stage 2 shift kit, which should provide crisper, more responsive shifts and enhance the driving experience. The seller notes that the car's interior is all original and complete, which is a desirable trait for many classic car enthusiasts. However, they do mention that the dash has a couple of tiers, but nothing excessive. Potential buyers should assess the condition of the interior in person to determine if the tiers are acceptable or if they require repair. The white exterior paint is mentioned to have been done in Mexico two to three years ago. While this may raise some questions about the quality of the paint job, it's important to inspect the car in person to evaluate the condition and appearance of the paint. One notable issue mentioned by the seller is that the car needs air conditioning work. Additionally, the seller states that they will take care of redoing the wiring harness, which suggests that there may be some electrical issues that need to be addressed. These factors should be considered when evaluating the overall condition and value of the car. The seller's mention of being invested $13,000 in the car provides some context for their asking price. However, potential buyers should assess the car's condition and the value of the upgrades independently to determine if the asking price aligns with the market value for similar vehicles. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this Ford, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition a thorough inspection by a qualified mechanic can provide valuable insights into the car's health, the quality of the upgrades, and any potential issues that may require attention. The seller's asking price of $10,000 and willingness to consider reasonable offers suggest that there may be some room for negotiation. However, potential buyers should factor in the cost of any necessary repairs or additional upgrades when determining their offer and budget. In summary, this Victoria LTD presents an intriguing opportunity for enthusiasts of classic American sedans. The recent engine and transmission rebuilds, along with the interior's originality, make it an attractive proposition. However, potential buyers should carefully consider the car's overall condition, the need for air conditioning work, and any electrical issues before making a final decision. 
If the car checks out and the price can be negotiated to align with its condition and the buyer's budget, this Crown Victoria could be a rewarding and enjoyable classic car ownership experience. 17. The 1977 Pontiac Grand Prix SJ, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a cherished family heirloom with a rich history and sentimental value. With an asking price of $8,500, this one-owner Grand Prix presents a unique opportunity for collectors and enthusiasts of classic American muscle cars. The seller's father originally ordered this Grand Prix SJ from the Attaway Easterland Pontiac Inc. dealership in Greenville, South Carolina, back in 1977. The car was specially equipped with the most powerful engine available for the Grand Prix that year, a 400 cubic inch four barrel V8, which was sourced from Atlanta. This attention to detail and the desire for high performance from the original owner adds to the car's provenance and desirability. In 1981, the seller's father passed the car down to them when they turned 16, citing that the coupe was just too small for him. Since then, the Grand Prix has remained in the seller's possession, making it a true one-family-owned car with a traceable history. The seller mentions driving the car regularly until about 2003 when they were assigned a company vehicle. They note that the Grand Prix is a fun car to drive and attracts a lot of positive attention, as it stands out among the more common Camaros and Mustangs of the era. In 2010, the seller installed Flowmaster mufflers, enhancing the car's already impressive sound. The engine was rebuilt in 2001, and the seller estimates that they have put about 15,000 miles on it since then, indicating that the car has been sparingly driven in the last 20 years. Many aspects of the car are still original, including the back seat and carpet, which is a testament to the car's well-preserved condition. The seller also has the original purchase paperwork and window sticker, which adds to the car's authenticity and historical value. In 2023, the seller invested in suspension work and some engine work, demonstrating a commitment to maintaining the car's mechanical integrity. They have receipts for this recent work, which provides peace of mind for potential buyers. The car was repainted in 1991, and while the seller acknowledges that there are some blemishes, dents, and a rear quarter panel showing its age, the paint still looks reasonably good when cleaned up. The interior and the Landau roof have experienced some deterioration over the years, which is to be expected for a car of this age. The seller notes that the interior is all original, except for the driver's seat. The Grand Prix has been primarily garage kept until the last four years, and the seller has used a good car cover to protect it when a garage was no longer available. The seller's decision to part with the car stems from not having enough time to enjoy it and not wanting to see it sit unused. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this Pontiac, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition. While the seller has been transparent about the car's history and recent maintenance, a thorough inspection by a qualified mechanic can provide valuable insights into the car's health and any potential issues that may require attention. The seller's asking price of $8,500 is firm, which suggests that they believe the car's condition, history, and sentimental value justify the price. Potential buyers should consider the cost of any necessary repairs or upgrades when evaluating the car's value and their own budget. In summary, this Grand Prix SJ is a unique and cherished family heirloom with a well-documented history and desirable performance features. Its one owner status, original documentation, and recent maintenance make it an attractive option for collectors and enthusiasts. While the asking price is firm, the car's condition and provenance may justify the investment for the right buyer. As with any classic car purchase, a thorough inspection and consideration of future maintenance costs are essential to ensure a satisfying ownership experience. 18. The listing on Craigslist is offering two 1979 Chrysler 300S for a combined price of $7,800. The first car is a running, driving, survivor class vehicle, while the second car is missing its engine and transmission but comes with extra interior and engine parts. The driving car features a 360 cubic inch V8 engine with a four barrel carburetor, producing 195 horsepower. It has a factory dual exhaust system and a lean burn system. The seller notes that the car runs and drives smoothly with plenty of power for a 1979 model. The car has been repainted in white with gold pinstripes, but the seller mentions that there are numerous small flaws in the paint. 
Inside, the car has a red leather interior, which is original but shows significant wear on the front bucket seats, including tears and cracks. However, the seller states that the seats are still functional. The car is equipped with a factory AM-FM stereo with an 8-track player, which is reported to be working. The air conditioning system does not function and needs to be converted to use modern refrigerant. The driving car has a 3-speed torque flight automatic transmission with a center console shifter. It rides on stock rims with 300 logos and nearly new tires, and the brakes are reported to be in good condition. The seller mentions taking the car to local cruise-ins to show off the classic Detroit muscle car, as it is one of the few performance models from 1979. The second car, included in the sale, is missing its engine and transmission. However, the seller states that most of the missing interior pieces and some engine parts are included in the trunk. The car retains its factory paint. Both cars are part of a limited production run with only 3,811 Chrysler 300S made in 1979. All 1979 300S came in Spinnaker white with red, white, and blue pinstripes and 300 callouts on various parts of the car. The interior featured red leather upholstery, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, and engine-turned trim on the dash and center console. A tachometer and gauges were standard alongside the government-mandated 85 miles per hour speedometer. The seller provides the VNs for both vehicles and mentions that the odometer on the driving car is likely rolled over. They also include two new factory manuals and a set of door seals in the sale. While the driving car is in fair condition and has some issues such as the worn interior and non-functioning air conditioning, it appears to be a solid and original example of a relatively rare classic muscle car. The inclusion of a second car for parts or a potential restoration project adds value to the listing. Potential buyers should carefully inspect both vehicles in person to assess their condition and determine if the asking price of $7,800 is fair, considering the work needed to bring the cars up to their desired standard. The seller's willingness to deliver the non-running car within 100 miles of Charlotte, North Carolina is a nice bonus for interested parties in the area. 19. The 1984 Cadillac Seville, currently listed for sale on Craigslist, is a beloved classic luxury sedan that the seller is reluctantly parting with due to a change in family circumstances. With an asking price of $8,000, this Seville presents an opportunity for enthusiasts of vintage Cadillacs to own a well-maintained and cherished vehicle. According to the seller, the car is in good condition overall, which suggests that it has been cared for and maintained throughout its life. The seller's emotional attachment to the car, describing it as their pride and joy, further indicates that it has likely been treated with respect and attention. Under the hood, the Seville is powered by a V8 engine, which is a common power plant for Cadillacs of this era. The V8 engine should provide ample power and a smooth, comfortable driving experience, as befits a luxury sedan. The car is equipped with a rear-wheel drive layout, which is typical for American luxury cars of the time. The seller mentions that the car runs and drives well, attesting to its overall reliability. However, they do note that there is a minor issue with the power vacuum brakes, which can sometimes cause a slight problem. This issue is worth investigating further to determine the extent of the problem and the potential cost of repair. Despite this minor issue, the seller emphasizes that the car is generally reliable and enjoyable to drive. The odometer reading of 100,000 miles suggests that the car has been moderately used over its 39-year lifespan. While this mileage is not exceptionally low, it is not uncommon for well-maintained classic cars to still have plenty of life left in them at this stage. The car's blue paint color is an attractive choice for a classic Cadillac, as it exudes a sense of elegance and sophistication. The seller does not mention any significant issues with the paint or body, which is a positive sign. The clean title status indicates that the car has a clear ownership history and is not encumbered by any legal or financial issues that could complicate the transfer of ownership. When considering the purchase of a classic car like this Cadillac, it's essential to inspect the vehicle in person and assess its overall condition. A thorough inspection by a qualified mechanic can provide valuable insights into the car's health, the extent of the brake issue, and any other potential problems that may require attention. The seller mentions that the price is slightly negotiable, which suggests that there may be some room for discussion on the final sale price. However, potential buyers should keep in mind that the seller is offering the car for local sale only, which may limit the pool of interested parties.
It's worth noting that the seller is also offering their daily driver, a Crown Victoria, for sale alongside the Seville. This additional information does not directly impact the Seville's value or condition, but may be of interest to potential buyers who are in the market for multiple vehicles. In summary, this Seville presents an opportunity to acquire a well-loved and cared-for classic luxury sedan. While the car is in good overall condition, potential buyers should investigate the mentioned brake issue and thoroughly inspect the vehicle before making a final decision. The seller's emotional attachment to the car and its local sale restriction are factors to consider when evaluating the asking price of $8,000. For the right buyer, this Seville could be a rewarding and enjoyable classic car ownership experience. 20. The 1973 Chevrolet Custom Cloud, a rare and intriguing find, is currently up for sale on Craigslist with an asking price of $9,900. According to the seller, this particular vehicle was built specifically for the legendary entertainer Sammy Davis Jr. with only 56,398 miles on the odometer and a clean title, this custom cloud is a true barn find that is sure to capture the attention of classic car enthusiasts and fans of Sammy Davis Jr. alike. The seller's description paints a picture of a unique vehicle with a fascinating history. As a custom-built car for a celebrity, it's likely that this custom cloud features special modifications and touches that set it apart from standard models. The fact that it was discovered in a barn suggests that it may have been hidden away for years, waiting to be rediscovered and appreciated by a new owner. However, it's important to approach this sale with a degree of caution. The seller does not provide detailed information about the current condition of the vehicle, which is a crucial factor to consider when purchasing a classic car. While the low mileage and clean title are positive signs, interested buyers should thoroughly inspect the custom cloud in person to assess its mechanical condition, interior and exterior before making a decision. Given the celebrity connection and the rarity of the custom cloud model, the asking price of $9,900 may be justified if the vehicle is indeed in good condition. However, without more information from the seller, it's difficult to determine whether this price is fair or if there may be hidden issues that could lead to costly repairs down the line. In conclusion, the Chevrolet built for Sammy Davis Jr. is an exciting opportunity for collectors and enthusiasts, but it's essential to approach the sale with due diligence. By thoroughly examining the vehicle and gathering more information from the seller, Potential buyers can make an informed decision about whether this unique piece of automotive and entertainment history is the right fit for their collection.